Hey guys, Confirmed I'm here back with a crypto market update. Uh, so today we had an interesting day. Um, as you know, I don't know if actually, I, you probably don't know, but on Twitter, uh, I'm sure that we all saw, if I were to pull it up, everyone liked to say yesterday that uh, FTX official and Binance, which would be uh, CZ Binance and uh, Sam Brinkman Freed were at official war with each other, I guess, over the weekend up until the 7th. And then today, um, what's what's crazy is that, as you can see here, uh, FTX uh, is now being bought by Binance. And, you know, that that is crazy. But you can see in the background, uh, someone showed in here that the FTX is secretly insolvent. Bitcoin's testing new lows. We have a whole bunch going on right now. Uh, FTT is down a whole bunch right now. I don't know if we can pull it up on the chart right now. We do FTT uh, USD. Uh, absolutely insane right here. As you can see, straight red candle downwards. $5. Wow. As you can see, yesterday it was sitting up here in the $20 range. And then on this news, and today, uh, you know, a catastrophic fall um, of about... Uh, <laughs> 75 percent at the moment but it was all the way down to 88 percent in one candle uh we go back to bitcoin uh actually we'll go to uh bnb first as you can see when the news broke out this morning uh we had this huge wick up to the 382 on uh the longer time period but as you can see immediately rejected because it was too early for it to do the move but everyone was kind of you know moon boy happy ish because you know we're looking right here around like mid to late January for something to happen and it did the move super early uh, I myself was kind of skeptical with this and as you can see uh, immediate rejection to the downside and then holding above that two, that 20 day EMA like we always have been for the past uh, oh my god how long since uh, the October 25th so uh, over two weeks now has been sitting over this 20 day moving average and uh you know holding it as support right now coming actually held the uh let's see what this one was this one was the 50-day moving average but heading all the way up there and hitting almost 400 dollars almost 398 and then getting rejected uh momentarily uh let's see how long that took there to happen literally the next hour and then in, in three hours back below and then you can even see with Bitcoin, it was the same story. Uh, we had gotten a nice pop off the low because we were talking about this last night when we made my crypto uh, market update video uh, that we needed a bounce off of around the, the uh, 19250. And we did. We got a nice little bounce. It was like 19279. Flew up, uh, got rejected by pretty much all the moving averages, but more specifically the 200 and the 100 day moving average. And then it fell right off the table, unfortunately. Uh, we would want to see a close for um, Bitcoin, if I can actually zoom out far enough. Uh, this needs to go to the bottom of this candle right here. Uh, we want to close above this um, 18, I would say 650 for us to stay in some sort of nice trend. Uh, otherwise, I would love to see it close today above $19,250 and get back in this wedge that we were making. Otherwise, uh, you know, we we're down on a range that uh, we're just going to be neandering through because this is technically a low over here. And you could uh, theoretically throw it like like this from the the high over here, which is right about here, to the low over here, and you can see we dipped slightly below it. Unfortunately, like this, that th th this is a no bueno situation. We need to get some price action back up to the upside, and as you can see, this four hour candle is trying to, but we have dipped below what we should have, so. Is it bearish? Uh, I don't know. I mean, setting it only by a couple, by a hundred dollars, uh, you know, it, it's extremely oversold right now. And seeing it push to this downside is absolutely insane nonetheless. But, you know, we, we have gone through and shown that basically it falling through this target is really bad. And that could send it down to the, uh, let's see where we could do it from right now. So this is our high right here, uh, around 12,000 basically about 13k if it were to actually fall and break this uh we're gonna be looking at around thirteen thousand um, dollars 
I didn't want to say that that would be a situation that we'd be seeing, but, um, you know, it's such, it's very odd, you know, well, actually it's usually buy the rumor and sell the news. Um, <laughs> but everyone bought the news and then immediately sold it right after, which is, you know, it, it's mind boggling to see how volatile the whole market could be. Uh, even, uh, let's see how the NASDAQ actually the DJI is doing the DJI for two straight hours has been battling the 236 here at $33,380. It's trying to. The DXY is reversing on itself. It fell through. It fell through, ladies and gentlemen. That is nice to see. We just need continuous pushes down. Let's see how the rest of the week plays out. But you see the move that we have down here is around the 106, 107 region. So uh, we'll see how that plays out nonetheless. But cr it's crazy to see that just the, the amount of gains that were just made today. Uh, getting up there about 25% and then immediately reversing from today's open price, which was right about here, and we're down at 8% or 5.75 right now um, on Binance right now. But we're still holding in the, this, this wedge, and we're actually still very bullish on it because it's still holding uh, right in the middle here, right, you know, pretty neutral in this this trend. But uh, uh, you know, most people got moon boyish and saw this BNB chart and we're all freaking out. BNB was going to be the leader, but, uh, you know, definitely a, a bull trap right here. Definitely a bull trap. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy to see, but we shall see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to have to see how the day closes, see how tomorrow opens and we can kind of get ourselves back, uh, acquainted to what's going on. Uh, I couldn't tell you how Bitcoin's going to close. Uh, I just would hope and pray that it still holds, uh, at least in this region, above the 17,582, because that was the wick here. Um, we know we wicked slightly below it, but we would need to stay in here. But uh, unfortunately, this does invalidate a lot of things I was thinking. If it winds up pushing this way, uh, I would like to see a reversal back upwards and reclaiming. But uh, if it does want to closing below here, 19,567 will become a resistance here, which was about before if you were to do this. I think it was about 19,400. Yeah, right about there. But hope you guys have a great day. Um, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. It helps out immens immensely. Press the like button. And remember, in the end of the day, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you guys my two cents. I'm wearing pajamas. I just got home from work. I'm just a silly guy just making videos because I like covering crypto. So do that what you will. Have a good one, guys.